Yes, I enjoy them very, very much, and I still do. And the reason is that I find myself in a studio with voice wizards, which I am not. I am not a voice wizard. I can barely do me, really. Now, here are these people who can do 12 different sounds, and that knocks me higher than a kite. I love it. I always have. They're wonderful. They're so talented. And I've done a lot of work with a lot of them many, many times. And uh, that, that has pleased me no end. Do you have any favorite voiceover projects you've done? Or of a yes. Uh, one of my great favorites is called Freakazoid. And that was Warner Brothers. And it was written by two brilliant guys who really went so far afield, they were off the wall. And Warner Brothers didn't understand any of that. So they canceled us. And they didn't have a clue, Jeff, what these two brilliant guys were writing and what we who were in the cast adored because it was off the wall and really very adult and very childlike as well. And so they canceled us. Oh, God, I tell you sometimes, it's more than it's worth. You're dealing with a bunch of idiots. Talk about the, the acting quality that is required. Oh, it's very, very important and very difficult. Obviously, you can't rely on facial expressions. It's no, 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 no. Uh, that's one of the things I liked about it and always insisted that they send me a script in advance so that I could work on it. I like to work on things. I told you which way I travel. I travel in a circuitous route to come up with something interesting, which is more than is on the page. It's something that I do. And in um, Freakazoid, as a matter of fact, uh, I played this nasty, sitting in the window, gossiping about people across the street. And there was another part in it, who was this guy's mother. And the director said, would you like to play the mother? Oh, I said, yeah. But I, let me think about it, because you don't have to think. Now remember, the guy, the son, is a nasty son of a bitch in, sitting in the window, gossiping, and uh, the biggest yenta in the world the very biggest yenta. And his mother's got to be something sort of special, too. <laughs> so I found sort of North Carolina lady who was just so terrible I couldn't stand her. And they loved it. It was Steven Spielberg's project. And he loved it. So did I. We were canceled. Warner Brothers. But I loved that. I loved it because it was funny and unusual and kind of outrage. And uh, the rest of the cast loved it too and they enjoyed, enjoyed the work that I was doing on The Mother. So that was, you know, pleasing, pleasing to me. 